It used to be called Orchestrator. Some teachers call it the spying software, but it's actually classroom.relay.school. And when you get there, click sign in with Google, because why would you want to type a password for something you don't need to type a password for? And the first time you log in, it's going to have you configure schedules. So configure schedule, this is my first period. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday schedule, this is the first period on a block. The only days this is inaccurate for is for finals, but we can deal with that another time. So again, I just tell it what time the class meets. So second period meets, again, configure schedule, second period, and period two here, and save. So you go on and finish doing that for all of your classes. Now it's technically seventh period right now. So let's go see what seventh period looks like. I like this view because it's called a heat map. If it's during class time, I can click show all screens and continue. If the students were logged in right now, I would actually be seeing what's going on on their specific screens. Let's go look at another teacher. This teacher's students are logged in right now. So let's see what they're looking at. We're going to click show all screens and continue. And this is what the students are working on right now. Now, when it's during class time, oh, this one's not doing what they're supposed to do. I can click it, and let's just get you off of there, dude, so you can get back to work. You're welcome. What happens is the teacher hit to default, customize, and said, hey, you can go to any of these websites I've listed here. You can go to any of these websites I've listed here. If you want to block websites, go here. But otherwise, you're restricting them to only go to the websites you have listed here. And that's it.